so I implore you to find meaning and purpose in life, to have satisfaction, that you don't have to kill yourself. That's the most number one question. Uh, I want to kill myself. The solution is not to kill yourself. Give your life to Jesus. Not to be dead, but to be alive in Jesus. And how do you be alive? Galatians says, stand therefore, fast therefore, in the liberty by which Christ has made us free and do not be entangled again with a yoke of bondage. So if you're drinking from the well of the bars, or the well of uh, sexual pleasure at the strip clubs, visiting prostitutes, engaging in sex with your girlfriend, boyfriend, you not marry, it's not pleasing to God. Engaging in uh, orgies, reading Playboy magazines and penthouse and uh, gambling, prostitution, uh, engaging in child pornography, that's all idolatry to God. Putting everything else above God, that's idolatry. And God is not happy. Because Deuteronomy 6 5 says, Love the Lord thy God Jesus with all thy heart, mind, soul, and strength. And to love your neighbor as yourself. This is what God wants to be like. Yeah. So I'm here to warn you that it's not going to be anymore. God's right now is giving you grace. Grace is something that God extends to you that you don't deserve. Instead of death, God's going to give you life. But you need to come to Jesus to get that life. Jesus gave you himself to you as a gift for salvation is a gift. It's by grace. We don't do it. We don't earn it. Amen. We don't have to work very, very hard to earn it. Yeah. All we got to do is admit we are a sinner. We made a sinner. We confess our sin to Him and we believe in Him and we give it to Him with faith in Jesus. But we are saved by grace through faith, not of works. It is a gift of God. So no man can boast. All right? And if you don't confess, if you uh, keep denying Jesus, keep uh, wanting to do your own way, putting yourself on the throne of where God should be on the throne of your life, you want to impose your own self-will, you don't want anything to do with Jesus, this is a real judgment day from the Holy Bible, not from the people saying Judgment Day is coming in so-and-so, 2014, 2015, that's all false prophets. Because it doesn't come true when the day is going to pass and nothing happened. So don't believe the, those people the Bible says. The Bible says the day that Jesus come back to claim back the world, to judge the world, nobody knows. Hebrews 9.27 when we die, we're going to die or die, my friend. Every single person is going to die. Because it says in the Bible, the wage of sin is death. But the good news is that Jesus Christ, but Jesus Christ came to set you free. Amen. Give you eternal life. But the gift of God is the gift of God, Jesus. That God is Jesus. But the gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus. So in Revelation, 22, you go through all the way back to the end of Revelation, that's what Jesus talks about. The last chapter, the last book in the Holy Bible, the Word of God, right? He gave a vision to John. John was one of the apostles. And Jesus showed John a pure river of water of life, clear as crystal proceeding from the throne of God and of the Lamb. In the middle of his street, on the east side of the river, was the tree of life, which bore twelve fruits. Each tree yielding its fruit every month. The leaves of the tree were for healing of the nations. That's how we need healing of the nations. It's not what the Jehovah's Witness says. Twelve thousand from twelve tribes of Israel. So only 144,000 is going to go to heaven. That's not from the Word of God. Jesus says, I go prepare a place for you. Where I go, there's many rooms. 
So why view the last 144,000 and what? That means you're not going to go to heaven? That's contrary to the word of God. Well, God says, I love everyone. I want everybody to come to repentance, to come to Jesus and have eternal life, right? And first three says that, uh, and there should be no more curse. Right now we're under a curse. The curse, the curse is sin. But the solution is Jesus Christ, okay? But the throne of God and of the Lamb shall be in it. And His servant shall serve it. You will be called the servants of God. They shall see His face, Jesus. And His name, Jesus, shall be on the... Right? And His name... Oh, it's not, uh, and His name shall be on their foreheads. If you read further, the Antichrist is called the Beast. There's a mark. You don't want to take that mark, the 666. It's the mark of the Beast. Because Satan is going to control the world system. He cannot buy and sell if you don't take the mark of the Beast, which is 666. But you don't want to take that mark because if you take that mark, you're going to doom for hell. You'll be separated from God. Okay? And first five says that there should be no more light there. They need no lamp, no light of the sun, for the Lord God Himself is going to give them light. And they shall reign forever and ever. Talk about the saints of God. Saints is the people that set apart for God's use. God has chosen us. And you can be a saint too if you come to Jesus. And He said to me, these words are faithful and true. And the Lord God of the Holy Prophet sent his angel to show his servants the things which must surely take place. And this is a warning, okay, first seven, 22 seven. Behold, I am coming quickly, it's Jesus. Blessed is he who keeps the words of the prophecy of this book. Talk about this Bible, Holy Bible. So I'm here to warn you, come out of your lifestyle of fornication, of drunkenness, of debauchery, of stealing, of murdering, of lying. You're not going to see the kingdom of God if you continue in that. And now, I, John, saw and heard these things. See, God gave John a vision of the future. And when I heard it, I felt and saw, John, I, John, felt to worship before the feet of the angel who showed me these things. Then he said to me, See that you do not do that. For I am your fellow servant, and of your brethren the prophets, and of those who keep the words of this book, worship God on it. And he said to me, Do not seal the books of the prophecy of this book, for the time is at hand. He who is unjust, let him be unjust still. He who is filthy, let him be filthy still. He who is righteous, let him be righteous still. He who is holy, let him be holy still. It's another warning. Behold, I am coming quickly, and my reward is with me to give everyone according to his work. Jesus says, I am the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Okay, I'm close. I'm wrapping up this, this message for you. How you can have life in Jesus, how you can drink from the well, okay? It says, Blessed are those who do His commandments, that they may have the right to the tree of life. They may enter through the gates into the city. He's talking about heaven. You put your faith in Jesus, you're going to go to heaven. But outside are dogs and sorcerers and sexual immoral. Those are the unbelieving people I'm talking about. And you're drinking from the wrong well. And sexual immoral and murderers and idolaters. And whoever loves and practices a lie. See, Satan wants to give you a lie. He wants to let you chase the carrot stick with wealth, beautiful woman, drunk every night. That's what intoxicated with uh, alcohol, under the influence of uh, drugs. That's what Satan wants to give you a lie. That's the only thing that you make you satisfied. The people are committing suicide, they are not satisfied. That's not, that's not the solution. Right? So this is what he's talking about. Whoever loves and practices a lie, see, Satan wants to give you a lie. But do not believe the lie of Satan. Believe Jesus the truth. I, Jesus, has sent my angel to testify to these things in the churches. 
I am the root and offspring of David, the bright and morning star. Let's talk about Jesus. And the Spirit, the Holy Spirit. And the bride said, come. So we, we are the bride of Christ if you come to Jesus. The church is the bride of Christ. The church makes up of the body of the people. And let him who hears say, come. And let him who thirsts come. Whoever desires, come. Let him take of the water of life freely. That's come to Jesus he's talking about. And then this is what John said, okay? In the book of Revelation, chapter 22. Jesus is coming quickly. So repent. For I testify to everyone, here is the words of the prophecy of this book. If anyone adds to these things, God will add to him the plagues that are written in this book. So that's the warning to the Jehovah's Witness. They're promoting the watchtower, lies. The Mormons promoting the Book of Mormon, lies. The Igrisus Crystal promoting that uh, they need to be in their church. The International Church of Christ promoting that you got to get water baptized in their church to be a true disciple. That's all lies. Ali Krishna's lies. Baha faith lies. Judaism lies. How you know it's a lie? Because Jesus says, I am the way, the only way, the truth, the life. No man, woman or child can go to the Father God except through Jesus. So I, that's how I know it's a lie. Because I test the spirit. And there's a spirit of Antichrist. It's a lie. The Holy Bible is true. He says, sanctify me with your truth. And thy word is truth. 